to be around four. And I will probably, well, let me see if he's here. I mean, for all I know, he's here. Let me, that's where he is. Okay, well. Ah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I want to have the pip count here, but I wanted to, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start already. And uh, Fete is from Romania. He's, uh, I saw his PR should be like something like 12 to 15 or so. So in principle, that's good, but obviously I've also lost a lot, won a lot of matches where I was playing worse than the, than my opponent. Plus, uh, it's not a given that I will be playing better than him, so I will just try to play normal here. The 6-2 is obviously not the most common way of playing it, but I mean, it's probably going to be like some error of like 30 minute points or so, so I, maybe it's even okay just to like get a slightly weird opening. Uh, let me get... So... Um, I can help. I am okay. Um, so I'm just spamming a little. Okay, I'm supposed to raw, so let's raw three one. Uh, well, I'm just feel locked in there, but I need to uh. Do something like uh the four point uh, the five point is the five point after all. Okay, I guess he will come down with both. Yes, and now let's see if I can hit uh an eight or a nine. That would be very nice. Double six is not so nice. Let's just come down with all four. I mean, not slotting the the two. I mean, like that. This is a very strange situation here. And it could also be that some of these are somehow doubles, which I uh, I don't know, but now I'm obviously quite happy. If he dances, it's a big cube. He does not, but he does miss me. And I think it's still gonna be a cube. It's so strange, I mean, it's just from this opening two down on uh Gotta be a cube. Too too many too many threats. Like I can make a stronger board and head in the race. Um, one checker back versus three checkers back. And I don't. I also don't think it's too good. I mean, he can also just escape. Let's see. Okay. Well, he he played this one. Apparently, this is a famous response. He played two down. Let's see. I wonder if this is a misclick. Or, I mean, I don't know. So, like I said, I, I've seen his PR was 14, 15 ish. So, I, I actually don't know. Like, I, I have played 14, 15 PR not so long ago. So, I'm not like to say I'm better than that. But um, on average, I am. But it's, uh, yeah, the point is, it's just hard for me to figure out which of these are really what he thinks is best or maybe he's just playing in a completely different style that i don't understand so yeah, well let's see six three so uh for sure i will cover this i have two options i either play this or I can just unstack. I kind of like the unstacking play. Kind of like a blitzy position, so I kind of want to hit something, but I yeah, will see. I think it's probably correct what he did. And I want to anchor up because I have three checkers back against one. They could make it two, but that would cost me my midpoint. 
salvage.blot. It has some kind of edge here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can give up my my bar point, which I don't really want to do. Maybe what I can do is this, just to slot the five, and with the four I have a kind of an easy decision. Or I can play two down. Choices, choices. How bad can it be to play two down? I don't know. So he has eights and nines. Okay, well, that's the answer, I guess. But I think he has to find two more fours. Yeah. But this I don't like at all because uh, I'm just getting some shots that I wasn't, uh, wasn't entitled to. So let's enter with the three and Slot the five, use the five to slot the five. Oh yeah, he still has all this space here. Yeah, I don't like that either. He just gave me some returns for no reason, I think. He's supposed to play this very calmly, I think. Okay, now this is. Maybe the 10 or a 13, which doesn't exist. Maybe actually stepping, stepping up to the 20 was better now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Three. Well, and how can I resist this beautiful five prime? Won't quite help me that much, but uh, you might as well make it. I mean, it's a nice, nice prime. And then try to extend it with a five or a six. Probably correct. Oh, why? Why not the other one? Well, we'll never know. But the six is kind of thematic. Here, just running off your anchor. You have a spare on your anchor, and I don't think you should hit. I mean, because I have a stronger board, I don't think you should hit. Yeah, but now, I mean, if I just roll a one, well, I didn't roll a one, so I guess I was wrong, but. Okay, well, now, now I'm in a bad shape, but no, 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 the other one. Take the anchor and make this guy. Let's see, 2-5 two, two is not a particularly strong back game, but the 5 was just very uh, useful here. In fact, if I had to guess, I would probably, I would probably run off my uh, 5 point, my 20 point, soon-ish, and try to... Uh, Get a shot from the deuce. Well, I can still do this now. Let's see what he does. So he can clear the seven now. No, I think I just run from here and uh, and wait for a shot. I'm already getting a shot. It went pretty fast. A double shot, yeah. I don't know if I didn't really have a choice, right? Okay, let's bring one down. Okay, so he came back. How much containment do I have? Quite a lot. Yeah, how many shots do I have? So I need two, six, one, four, three, one, one. So it is 11, 1, 1 is 12, 16 shots. I have stuff like 4, 4 and 3, 3, which I presumably just... I am leading. 
I think it's better not to mess too much with this stuff. If it dances, I have a very easy cube. Is it even too good? It's not too good because he only has one checker on the board. And the rest is home. Okay, three zero. Let's see. Two, one. Good, good. Mm. I'm tempted to Okay, let's play it normal, but I I wonder if it's actually six to five here. And I'm also wondering if it's actually 13 to eight, but that's just a little too desperate, I think. Like a little too, uh, too, too much genius. I clicked. Or two, so unfortunately I can't make the nine because I need to enter with the four. I can't do that. I don't want to bring down another, make another blot with 13, 11. Certainly I won't slot into a double shot, so actually I only have two left. Okay. Well, this eight anchor is kind of a famously bad one. Um, because it's so nice to make this nine point, I will do that. I don't really feel like anchoring up red. I mean, it would be nice to anchor up, but I could have four one, I would have anchored up. But like this, I think uh, it can wait. Like my, my board is kind of stronger than his, so. And uh, uh, for people who don't know, I'm I am from Romania, so I have uh, some emotional connection. But he's also not from Romania anymore. Then I have an option. So this is the flashy play, but don't have that many covers. This is a boring play. I'm just playing a racing game when I have a better board and so on. A bit ahead in the race. Four one seems to miss. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like that. Well, I'm leading three zero, so I guess it's not quite a cube, but For all I know, it's actually correct. I don't know, but. And there's no very good way of playing this other parts of the the 3-3, three, three, so I will just uh, make another point. Maybe it was correct, but it seemed a little silly with the cube in the middle. And yeah, I had a lot of. Well, a lot of returns is uh, exactly 11 returns, any four. Okay. Well, if he does that, at least he has a better board, so I think I kind of like it. Okay, any one or any 10. It's my turn. I still wonder if this isn't the cue, but I, I am ahead in the match and behind in the race. So this position is very ugly. Well, uh, I don't know. Okay, well now this this is looking very good, of course. I I also have this play one two. No one on this. Three, one, two, three, four. Is it, isn't this a little too hard to uh, to resist? Like, gotta go for this one. And then easy, easy pass next round or next round if it comes to that. But 
Okay, no pass. But I got a double. This is too nice. Too nice. Yep. Guys are still quite nice to me. Okay, so two one, you play like this. Three one. Three. Five one. I just make the bar. Let's see. So far, so good. Oh, another six six. I think you just do this. If it doesn't roll a one, it's quite nice already. Yeah, I, I think you anchor up. Okay, now again, I have some kind of a similar dilemma, so I can just do the running play. Because that plot, I cannot salvage anyway. It's anyone and 5-3 and 5-2. The 15 and 17 with 6-1. About fifty percent shots, but I go, um the only the only improvement I can do is this, where uh, suddenly just you know, I mean maybe it's better. I mean I still save a lot of shots here, so this this is now five four. Uh, this is any one. I know in the other one, so I said 17, but actually it's, uh, it's 15 because I double counted once with the six one. Yeah, okay, but um, and then this is I don't know. I also am running short in time, so let's just do what I first thought. 15 is quite nice. F3 is not a hitter. Okay. Um is this a cube? It's it's just 15 pips and I have some extra work to do, so it's not a cube, I think. Oops. I will just cube whatever happens here. Because I have this giant chunk of spares. So I don't even care that it's it's 14 pips. It's just very convincing to me. Okay. Uh, nope. Come back. Like here I'm ahead in the race and he's a bit stuck behind the prime, so uh, he will possibly have to crunch, but we'll have to see about that. I will just build a board behind the, the anchor and keep the 17 point for now, uh, the 8 point, my 8 point. Uh, ever... Okay. Okay, now it's starting to get a little annoying, like uh, trying to figure out a way of clearing this. So now I am. Uh, so all these fours, they're not really welcome. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Could have cleared that point earlier, but okay. So anytime I roll a four, I'm in pain. Okay, well, that's not a four. Them chances are not too high, but also my losing chances aren't, so. Yep. 
get six six, so that's it for the gammons, but it's also I also roll six six. Lock up the win more or less. Six zero, so three away, nine away. Okay, so I need to be extremely conservative with the cube from now on. Unless I can't live with myself if I can't if I don't send it, so I will be basically I'll just put put the cube somewhere else. Wait for him to cube and uh, try to take. Six four. What is this? Oh, let's run. There's some kind of stacky situation there. So maybe I was supposed to hit actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it's not bad. I think because I have an inner work point made. But how bad can it be to run? Run from a blitz. Okay, um, I think I will try to play boring here. The 23 point is famously bad for a single checker, but uh, I didn't have another one. I didn't, didn't see one at least. Okay, makes the five. Let's see. It's another one of these running plays and hope that I don't get caught. I do get caught. But it uh, stripped his midpoint, so that's got to be worth something. One, two, three, and then look for another two. We can try this, it's a little messy, of course, but some numbers are duped, so fives and twos are kind of duped. Fours, uh, fours aren't. Well, let's go for it. I'm, I mean, six four was the alternative, but it's just such an ugly play. Okay, but I don't, ah, yeah, 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 okay. Um, I wonder about this, but I think now it's time to do the blood hitting contest thing because what else? Like, where's the two otherwise? And if I'm gonna play a three on my side of the board, why not hit? Oh, yeah, uh, maybe this is a good cube actually, but it's gotta be a big take. Fortunately, the five is not valid on the other side because I have to use it. Sorry, the two isn't valid here. What am I talking about? There is no five here. Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah, what I mean is I can't hit with the two. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to do a little bit of gammon savish attitude here. So I'll try to reduce the number of blocks because we're ahead by so much. Still trying to get hit with it too. Well, I said gammon save, but like, how can I not hit? With the four, I need to make another blot, but like, I, I have to try to win as well. I mean, I can't just play gammon save all the time. Now another four, four two, no four two, okay. It's okay, I'm not mad. Good point to it. Yeah, now I can cover the blot and it's gonna be a little scary. Okay, let's see. Okay, I was gonna say something with a four, so that's good. So let's hope I can survive this. No hit here. Oh, but that's bad, right? Another six. Hit two. Yeah, but I will never, ever, literally ever until the bear off ever recoup here. So 
just in case this needs to be spelled out. And I, I, I maybe it does need to be spelled out for myself. So please, whatever you do, do not recube here. It's, it's, yeah, you're, you're already at Crawford if this goes well. Plus, maybe you win a gammon. So do not recube. Whatever you do, do not recube. That's six away, but he has two on the bar. So I'll try to build some stuff. Okay, so he still has one on the bar. Again, no recube, no matter what. Okay, now I can put two on the bar again, and that's a great roll, a gigantic joker. Okay, how can I now? Now my number one priority is getting rid of my blots as much as I can. But that does not get rid of one, so let's not do that. Um, this gets rid of one, so let's do that. And well, I guess that's that's the best I can do, right? I do not want to get. Yeah, let's do that. Five is kind of duped. Yeah, for example, now you cannot hit with it. And now the blots are gone. The bots are uh, blots are gone from the menu. Just in time when he uh, got back all his checkers, he cleaned up the blots. That's good good timing for that uh, i wonder if i'm supposed to waste some time sometimes it's nice to get these uh um spares for bear off if there's some awkward six to be played uh for example this one So I need a five or a three to clear the 16. Okay, well, this is getting awkward, but uh, I'm still the favorite here, I think. I need a five or a three, something nice. Okay, well, that's not one of them, but. I'm certainly not leaving a shot, not volunteering anything. It's not going to get worse than this. I mean, he has a five, five prime, solid five prime. Okay, well, this is getting awkward, a little awkward, but there's no way I'm gonna, uh, leaving anything on purpose. So there you go, some more ugly plays. You can leave with one, but he's not gonna. Well, I tried. Okay, let's see. Five one, that's a hitter. Can I roll a two? No. Can I rolled a few few awkward stuff, and uh, that's where we ended up. I said, I don't know if I could have done better. Maybe I could have, but we will find out in analysis. Oh my god, okay. Now, uh, okay, I get hit back, but uh, it wasn't nice. <laughs> it was, it looked nice to, to roll a 5 4, but uh, 2 2, but yeah, I didn't realize when I saw it that uh, I'm leaving a block there. So I will get something like worst case scenario, I'll get two checkers uh, closed out, which is like 40% gammons, but uh, we're not there yet, so. Okay, let's see this. Can I roll it to mind it to like two, three, two, four? Or I have to forfeit the rest of my turn. Also, I'm getting low ish on times so of three, three minutes 30. Okay, what do I roll now? Six, three. Okay, not great, but the four is duplicated, so uh, that is a hit. Six three. Can I roll a two six? No. Two one is not a natural hitter unless you want to. Um, unless you want to banana. Three two is a hitter. A good hitter. And I am gonna get closed out. Okay, so at least. For a while, I can sit back and relax. I can put on the 
Not the roll. Try to save that gammon. Like I said, we're in gammon save mode anyway, so. Hmm. It's not the right technique, I think, but not a good carry. Not gammon, right? Yeah, I think that's right. But... I'm back. Okay, I came back with both. I should be favored to save this gallon, but we'll see. Or two, two crossovers. Let's try to get two crossovers with every roll. Well, I'm going to get three crossovers with this one. So this is definitely looking good now. Okay. Now everything will take something off, I think. And um, smart people will try to resign a game here, but I will just play it out. I will just be one of these guys who are who are uh, bearing off fewer checkers than they can in their okay what's going on some internet issue i guess i don't think he's running off the clock um something slow here but I'm just worried about my uh, my my clock. Like that's the only thing I'm worried about. Okay, six two up. So seven away, three away, and I'm definitely not gonna make a big difference between the two. Seven away, three away is actually kind of a famous score. Um, where he can double extremely aggressively and especially redouble extremely aggressively. So. I need to be very, very careful. No, that's not that's not, not the right idea, but and I wonder if I'm supposed to hit this guy. Maybe I am. It's it actually it gives you some extra safety. Because uh yeah, it just it just gives me time to bring home stuff. I wonder if I'm supposed to just leave the the anchor now because he has a blot in his home board as well. And oh, I'm I'm bringing everything home. I don't care. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, maybe. No, no, let's 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 play boring, boring backgammon. Absolutely. Let's make some inner board points. Uh, oh yeah, that's not gonna work, I think. One, two, three. And unfortunately I can't do this, so. So one, two, three. Yeah, and then I will just do this, I guess. I still have some priming potential, some blitzing potential. Yeah, three under bar best by far, as they say. And now I'm in the meantime, I mix light years too good to double, but I wasn't really thinking of doubling it at any point in this sequence. So, because I'm just trying to, uh... yeah, you're three away. You're not going to find a sweet spot of, oh, yeah, this is now a cube or whatever. No, it's just, okay, let's see if I can close him out. I need a four or a ten. That's it. That's not a four or a ten. 
builders the four ten or a seven the four okay so we have gammon is very light okay well very like this yeah gammon is guaranteed unless uh he gets a hit so while i'm bearing off or I somehow get stuck with a bunch of one ones, so the ones are now blocked. Uh, the twenty point and uh, thirteen point, but the ones are usually not numbers you're really afraid of because okay, I shouldn't uh, do the alter all stuff because it, it it is a bit dangerous. Like if too much luck, yeah, I do. Uh, I do have too much luck. But I don't know what to, to to say. I mean, I had lots of bad luck in other games, so. Mm. No, I think the correct way is this. The six six is fine, but the six six test is not everything, of course. So like sometimes I'm overdoing it. For example, here is this good? I don't know. It's a little, little stiff. Okay, so let's try this maybe. Move these checkers a little. So now six six and five five leave uh, uh, shots, but that's just the way uh, back demo works. Again, big doubles are not good for me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I messed this up. I didn't see the the completely safe way of doing this, but okay, I got away with it. And now it's a question of backgammons. Oh my god. This is backgammon territory. Okay, but he he would need to roll, yeah. So he, two one and now me a double. So okay, I did get, did roll the double, but he didn't roll the 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 two one. Okay, Crawford, a non gammon sensitive Crawford. So he's allowed to uh, like I'm allowed to play normal like uh, DMP. Hmm. My five is nice. Yeah, I have I have some issues with my blast there. You can hit my checker now in the outfield. So let's try to roll a four soon enough. It's a four. Okay, I'm pretty happy. And let's see. Uh, well, I can enter and hit, but is that really what I'm supposed to be doing? I don't think so. I think I will just make an anchor, uh, try to slot a point. Yeah. Keep the anchor there. Like, I, I had a hit there. I just didn't want to do it. I got burnt so many times not hitting, though. So maybe I'm, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a chicken. Like, this is also not... Not some great play that I found. Like it, it's not some like this slot wasn't that urgent. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I mean, maybe it's correct for all I know, but I will just make points in order somehow. Okay, let's try to save the gammon at least. I mean, um, gammons. Like I said, gammons don't matter too much. But it's still nice to avoid it. Six, three, five, three. I don't know. Well, this is not one of them anyway. So, three, five. Yeah. So this is this should be enough for some kind of a saving gammon situation. 
Okay, one, two, three. Ah, like this. That's what you mean. You need to play four of them, not three. Okay. Okay, so this is now a shot which I missed. And uh, let's try to save the back. I'm on. Okay, it's a four and that's a two. How is this, the gammon saving going? So he need he has seven crossovers. I also need seven crossovers, but some of my crossovers are long. Now I didn't get any, so. And now the gammon is pretty much guaranteed. Six, six one time. It's not six six. Okay, so eight four. What I lost was my free drop, but but it's still annoying, of course. So I need to take anything uh, unless he's doing this trick and uh, the German is almost locked up. So I d I don't know if he's gonna wait with the cube or what. No, so I need to take. And if he gammons me, we go to the MP. If he back gammons me, the match is over. So we'll see. Can I get a four one time? Four or a three? None of the above, so it's turn the corner. Becker didn't feel it safe. Or force. So, I don't feel like just making the five point. How bad can it be? Okay, let's try to run. I wouldn't mind running. And now, so. This would be the play that preserves my midpoint, but it's just too ugly, so I think I just just uh, wish that one checker uh, luck and just say like, yeah, uh, I will attend uh, to your issues when I can. But for now, I will make the bar point two five. So two five two six would be nice. One six as well, so two five two five. Now it's only two five and two six, so it is a little scary. But I have only one checker back. Okay, so now I'm making a. Oops, nope, nope. It is a six prime, but I need to escape very quickly. So actually, I wouldn't mind getting hit. So uh, uh, if I roll a four, I will definitely. Oh, that's a two. Very nice. Now he needs to hit and uh, contain. So okay, that's a three. That's that's the, that that's that's a match winner more or less. So yeah. Now this is a question. Do I do this? The answer is no. Actually, I think the answer is I can get the same effect. Actually, why why don't I just run completely? How bad can that be? Let's actually completely ignore that stuff. Okay, now I can't ignore it, so I have to hit. And uh, but now he also destroyed his board, kind of so. Okay, now I preserve my six prime like this, and now he has to crunch some more. Okay, let's see. Not nice, but that's the way it is. And it's a, it's an ace point game, but uh, his board is ugly already, so I, I am pretty happy with the way things are going now. I'll just clear from the rear. 
if I can clear from the rear, I will. Uh, clear from the rear again. And here it is, that's a shot. And this is a single shot, so let's do that instead of the double shot. And that's a hit. So let's see, let's see. Uh, I mean, for all I know, he he, he still has some chances. That the sport is not as bad as as it looks, kind of. So can I get a five or something? Okay, now he can cover that. Okay, that's still. How many checkers can he bear off without me entering? That's the question, kind of. So. Hmm. Okay, that was, uh, yeah, okay. Now the match is over, almost. Nine off, six off. How many aces can I roll? Oh, well. Okay. Eight point three. Okay. Um, I'm curious. I thought I played better than this, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go to XG now. Start to analyze. Super happy with this. Yeah, there were some weird stuff here and there. Maybe I probably had like one very big blunder. I, I felt good about this, but as usual, I... Um, yeah, for sure I was lucky. Okay, so where is the big 7.7? .7. Okay, I was wondering about this. Yeah, so how bad is this? this is 90 million points. Okay. I have to do this arrow stuff first. Yes. Okay. You see the stuff? Yeah, I guess you can. This was not a cube, right? I mean, it's still like so easy, e easy to see if I roll something small and he just makes his, his five point. I'm, a, I'm an underdog, so yeah, it's not as stupid as it looks. Double because I, I it's still a very volatile, of course, but it's still two hundred off. So okay, I'm glad I found the double. Yeah, this. Yeah, I'm just. So curious, yeah. Like I mean, he he started out playing had had a few very bad moves like this double, for example. But then he played well. Okay, so this was a little bit of an overplay, but it felt nice to unstack. But uh, I don't really achieve that much. So just um, the normal um, splitting play was better. I was just overthinking this. Okay, so where are my big Okay, one double blunder and seven move blunders. Okay, well, uh, I'm looking forward to them, kind of. Okay, six, okay, makes the anchor, yes. Go down, how bad was this? It was actually, this was all, exactly the same equity. 
Was I looking at this? No, I think I was a chicken. Yeah, this is okay. That's 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 nonsense. Okay, so four four. Yes. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Like I I I care about the big stuff. Seven two three. Uh, keeping that anchor. Three hundred. Yeah, this I think I made. I played the eight to seven first. Then I look for the the three. I have to watch this in the replay. Yeah, putting uh, keeping that anchor there can can be annoying. Like if it's like six four or or uh, some stuff that point on the two will play much much worse. Of course, if it's the corollary of like th that move is made to make the two point and now if if yellow does roll that like let's say five four what exactly do you do you come down and leave a shot or yeah uh this i was a kind of an oversight but also i think it's a conceptual thing Hi, Rob. Did you start from the beginning? Yeah, I felt like I played well, and then I, I, I was pretty sure there were like one or two really big errors. So I think this might be one of them. Because I, it felt like a five or a six, and this uh, and it is an eight. But yeah, of course, like my feeling of uh, like the the best matches I play when I feel like I did terrible, and then it's like oh, it's like a four. Like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I ran very good. Yeah, this two two I didn't like. Yeah, I actually said it during the stream. Like I could, I thought he's not supposed to hit at all. Like uh, uh, my front position is too scary. Yep. I mean, if he can hit and cover like five two, that's maybe different, but. One. Yeah, give up the twenty point first. It's also something. Yeah, actually, I think I said this. Like this is. Oh, I said it later. Yes, yeah, so I I remade uh remade this, and then I I did leave the the five points. So I I I was aware of this. I'm kind of forced to, but but yeah, I, I think I even said it during the stream. Like yeah, I'm just gonna leave the twenty and and use this this gap here on the five. Yeah, this is a very lucky roll for me, the 5-4 plus. And I did uh, find the right moment to redouble, yeah. So this would have been a big, 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 big take, so. Like, it's not interesting. It's just such a big take that it's better not to double. And in this case, it's not a double at all, so. Not a redouble. Okay, um, six oh eight nine oh eight. Okay, a lot of red here. Okay, so here, yeah, I I did sometimes think like, oh my god, I just overlooked this four one. It's so dumb. I found the second best move, but this four one is very normal. When when your opponent splits with a one, you just use the four one to hit both. Yeah, that's completely normal. Yeah, this was not convincing. This was also not convincing. Yeah, I thought I found a good move here. I explained for five minutes why this was much better. But it's kind of scary, so just just buckle up, make the anchor and play on. This pick and pass is usually not a good idea. Like pick and pass is unless you're extremely you're forced to play very carefully. It's it's okay to to just leave it there. Yeah. So something like this. And this way, if I hit with a three, then sometimes you can even anchor, like improve this deuce anchor, which is a uh, very lame. It's a famously lame one. Yeah, this one is a 200 blunder. Okay, so let's see this. Look at this. 
This was the first thought I had. Yeah, I just said this is a little too flashy for me. But it's extremely nice. And also fives are nice for yellow anyway. Like, Whereas, that's funny, that's something that Dirk is talking about. So I, I uh, left a double shot here, so uh, this one, left a shot with a 4 and a 3. And if you look at it, actually yellow doesn't really have good 4s and 3s originally. So deuce is okay. With deuces, you can step up. Okay, but threes. What? What is your three? As as yellow, you play six to three or what? No. You come down and and leave me a shot. No. And with fours, it's the same thing. You don't have good fours. Uh, and this is also something that people talk about. So when your opponent is so stripped. Then don't leave uh, random bloods floating around because your opponent will be very happy to hit. And this this move I thought was was very silly, but it was actually the best move by far. Yeah, so uh, I, I I'm sorry about that. This three three was good. Yes. This is a cube. Okay, don't really blame myself for missing this but this one i kind of thought about i think and then i decided based on my lead already that it can't be too bad to not cube it's not that bad but I should find this i guess and this was not a tiny bit too good but uh yeah i mean i'm not gonna get too upset about it Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's leaving the S. Three, three, okay. The, yeah, the four, four. I'm, I'm happy I found this because I wasn't completely sure, but in the end, yeah, my first instinct was correct. Double is a uh, borderline, and um, Yep, 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 yep. And then I wonder if in that barren where I got uh, screwed, actually I made a big mistake. Maybe I did. Which comes soon. The 6-4 was correct. I wondered, yeah, okay, so hitting there was equal. Right, plus plus, as usual, just to see if I get a vindication. No, it actually became more obvious to hit. Yeah, I I, I didn't notice the hit. Uh, I have to admit. Yes, I hit. I double take. It's a nice double that he found. Yeah, why didn't he just make the five? Yeah, that's. Yeah. This one, okay. Is this another three hundred? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can make the three point. Oh my god! Yeah, I think I have to blame the stream for this. I was in this blood saving mode, but I didn't notice the six five. It just it just makes a point. It's got to be a billion times stronger. And more gammonish. Oh my god. Okay. And here slowly I'm getting into a, a messy. Ah, okay. So <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm supposed to do just a boring play. Just go to the four point. I thought I was smarter. I thought I was smarter leaving some spares outside. 
but that's just i don't think that's a thing i think i made it up on the spot awkward feel more awkward yes 55 percent now 22 went to 40 and now but i did save a gammon Ah, yeah, so he didn't do it right, yeah. He, he, this is the more gamma way of doing this. It's pretty much, like you say, 0.3% of winning chances uh, of l lose losses, but you lose 15% of your uh, gammons. I don't think I was talking about this during the stream because I was uh, busy trying to not get gammoned and Fury 7 away, yes, let's look at this. By 5, I did this right. Yeah, I had this feeling that it will help help me uh, bring home stuff. I thought this was a genius move. I'm sorry. I will stand by this move forever. Okay, that's that's a funny one, though. Yeah, so just doing the blitzy stuff. Bring one down and blitz some more. Yeah, I mean, how dangerous can this be? uh yeah for money after the five two split yeah it's it's 13 to 3 i mean anytime you can hit on your three point i think it's it's correct uh i guess also after three two if somebody splits with the two and comes down with the three that's inferior a bit but some people do it that way I don't know which is the normal split and which is the reverse. But yeah. It's this common thing, like if you can hit from the midpoint, you should, so. One, one, four, four. This, I thought it was a genius move, but yeah, there's no risk at all in just blitzing a little bit. For all I know, I'm gonna just just win win this whole blitz. If this blitz works out, then the match is over. So, well, I'm going to Crawford. Some more blitzing, blitz, blitz, blitz. Ah, oh, okay. It's trying to just uh, say like, yeah, now the blitz is over. There's three checkers on the bar. We're just gonna like back up and. Uh, and win a gammon anyway, 82% of the time, okay. I mean, I'm not too upset about this. I'm making the deuce. Yep, 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 yep. Nothing, nothing. Oh, boy. Okay. I was correct on this. I was supposed to take off one more checker. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. It's the exact same amount of shots. That's the thing. There's no indirect. Because uh, he has two on the bar. So anytime he rolls a five, I'm sad. Anytime he doesn't roll a five, I'm happy. And it's ex it's the exact same situation um, in the other case. And, and in terms of like my next roll, let's say he dances or rolls a six. There's not much uh, to draw them apart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I somehow, uh, like normally you would prefer this position to this one, but that's because there's one checker on the bar, so this would give up 4 1, the indirect shot. Unfortunately, yeah, so this one, yeah, now I had the 7.2% back amounts. But it didn't come to fruition. If I have any more of these two three hundred blunders, like that's the that's the main difference between me and the good players that they would have two three eighty or ninety blunders, but I have two three three hundred. Uh, 
Yeah, as usual. Yeah, I'm overthinking this stuff, trying to not hit, but uh, I just had to hit. I saw the hit. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, but the thing is also that my play doesn't help that much. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna like enter and make a new blot. Like this, this slotting play isn't really thematic or anything. Like I did reduce gammons by three percent, uh, uh, to my credit, but uh, the gammons don't matter at this course. It's a DMP thing. And the DMP, you have to do this. And I somehow, I even said it's DMP, but then I somehow, I wonder, let's say if I do, if I make this, this Crawford, where gammons do matter, then actually you just update your anchor. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is, this is better, but it's still a little weird. Okay, could be uh, actually similar blunder. So, um, yeah, because because it's not quite gammon save. So, ah, yeah, let me okay, let me do the gammon save. Yeah, for sure. I mean. It's one of these things where, uh, you know, if you have a kitten, you play with a kitten and uh, it doesn't quite know how hard it's supposed to bite. So sometimes it bites your your fingers off uh, and it like scratches your eyes out. Like, it's like I'm given these tools now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I know what you mean. But so... I'm given these tools of like not hitting and I'm trying to use it, but then I end up, you know, like doing a little too much. Yeah, like I, wa I want to be on camera wearing my glasses and uh, saying like, yeah, look at me, I'm not hitting even though I saw it. Uh, and then I end up, uh, yeah, you know, I wonder at, at, at the pure gammon save. It's still not correct, okay. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, XG says you're supposed to. Ah, uh, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it it's correct to not hit, but it's not the right not hit what I did because uh, it's correct to upgrade your anchor. It gives you better contact and so on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then in the original one. But I think I, sh I should be able to see it. That really this 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 slot randomly in the middle of a game. It's not correct. I think I'm I'm supposed to see that at least. Um. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It, but still, so hitting is still much better than my play, even at game and go at game and save. Sorry. Okay, so this is getting scary. I miss the shot, and then I get gammon. It's a non gammon save score, so that was good. Double take, very good. Turning the corner, then random stuff, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. 13 4, okay, I'm making the point. Making the six prime out of nowhere, like the off the top row of making the six prime. Yeah, very good. And yeah, this was actually an interesting game, kind of, I think. Okay, yeah, so the arrow. Yeah, this here I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barclay Cook, yeah. <laughs> Barclay Cook, the way I know about his book is uh, from Jeremy Bagai, which like completely destroys Barclay Cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's probably, yeah. 
probably an interesting read, even though Magrill has lots of blunders in his book too. But yeah, so here I just thought it's just too much trouble. If if I get hit, I might enter on the ace and get counter prime. So I just thought like, yeah, I'm just not taking any risks at all. I'm just gonna play it this way. But of course, this is this also entails some risk. If he anchors on the deuce and then I roll some awkward sixes, I can get hit. So I don't know, but I, I'm not going to get too upset about this. Was this really the right play? That's crazy. Arrows. <laughs> Arrows, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm a little slower than Hikaru also the way I speak, the way I play. Like my backgammon is slower than his bullet chest for sure. Two one, clear from the rear, yes. Okay, this was wrong. I was supposed to just, just peel when in Yeah, I, I I um I saw this in the uh Galaxy chat. When shit get when shit gets gets real, feel or something like that. It was very good. Um, so I was supposed to just take three checkers off, just live with this gap. I mean, the truth is now I have five off. I'll probably get two or three off before I get hit. Uh, well, I could get hit with like some six two, for example. Yeah, but that's also I took two off. So. Uh, is there anything where I, I only get one off? I don't think so. Anyway, so I, I will have seven off and he has that board, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. And the way I played it, I have three off, so that's <laughs> it's a swing of two. Like, <laughs> you know, I should... Peel off three checkers, that's two more than peeling off one checker. It's a little known fact. But anyway, it's not too bad what I did. Six three. I get hit, but it's a little late. But I could have had the same position with seven off instead of five, so that's the thing, yeah. So it's already now yeah, six to six because of the bad board. It's gonna be hard to really um close me out yeah now so now he he does have a five point board and still it's a 50 50 proposition and for this i needed to dance two different times on a four point board so that's only like a quarter of the time that this happens okay now actually now he's a, he's a favorite but uh yeah because of all this dancing that I did here, a little too much dancing. But a 6-6, six, six. a wild time 6-6 six, six can save the worst positions. And uh, that's it. So. Okay, so my biggest blunders, yeah. Let's go through the biggest, biggest blunders. So the biggest, fattest blunders. Uh, this one, where instead of keeping that deuce, and so like, if worse comes to worse, I, I'm supposed to leave the the five point. Yeah, Rob is completely right. And 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 here I don't have to leave anything. I can just make the three point. Let him sweat a little because he has some weird weird rolls. Like I said, any roll that makes the deuce will have a hard time now. So. 6-4, what do you do with the 6-4? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah. Just just amazing. Like, anything that would have made the deuce is just a terrible roll now. Like, you play what... I mean, I guess you just play bar to one and, and, uh, and, and come down with the other or come down with both. And instead of that, uh, now he can... He gets to make a point in his inner board, so... 
Yeah, that's that's not a good. I mean, well, I guess it's not that super obvious actually that making the deuces is, uh, is good because of course I can still hit with an ace, but I also have this uh, this blood and it's still better to make that point than to like leave a shot in the outfield. Like th then at least you made a you left a shot, but you you at least made an extra point. And if I dance, it's like terrible, right? So yeah, yeah, breaking a point is a giant concession, and I shouldn't just do it randomly. Yeah. Now I wonder. Let's say if you had this was if this is a blot instead of well, but it's not so so easy to make this. Um. Like how bad is this? Yeah, it's still you're still not gonna move up because it's uh twenty three to twenty and just just gives up these two or three these three squares, so it's very easy to just dump checkers behind. So it's it's still not correct, but not correct by a lot, okay. Anyway, that's great. Um, go back. This was uh, giant blunder number one. Okay, let's go to, as usual, uh, we're just gonna cheat a little, so let's um, remove this from the analysis. 0.5, okay. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more big, uh, big blunder. Okay, this is not big enough. Yeah, this bar fifteen. Yeah, this one again is just something that um, Dirk is talking about. Is that that look at how these numbers would play? So three plays badly for him. I guess he just play eleven to eight, but it's not not your dream or anything. Uh, three plays kind of badly, four also kind of plays badly. And the two is the one where actually uh, yellow is kind of happy. So yeah, this one is, was bad, so let's remove this as well. 5.8, okay, we're getting there. This is a double, which is, I think it's a little tricky to find, although I, on a good day I would find it, but I, I can't just remove it. Ah, yeah, and this one was complete blindness. Okay, so this 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 is not the last one. Or look at this world class. Yeah, all all it took is uh, three blunders to remove. It's not too bad. Could have taken four blunders. Okay, yeah, now this is already like world championship final level. So anyway, yeah, uh, I will be closing the stream soon. Thanks for popping in, Rob. Thanks for others who might have popped in. And uh, see you, uh, see you around. I don't know when exactly. I'm uh, kind of out of these for now.